Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'm going to be ranking every state in a tier. We got the safe tier, we got the shocking but not impossible tier, we got the could but probably won't flip tier, and we got the could go either way tier, and we're going to see, um, we're going to take a look at these states and see exactly how this is going to go down. Now, uh, we'll fill out all the safe states, um, California, Washington, Hawaii for the Democrats as well as Illinois, New York. Vermont, Maine's first district's not going to flip, and every state down here, Rhode Island will be put in the green category next time around, but as of right now, we're not going to flip Rhode Island. Um, that gets them to 176. Uh, now we are going to fill out uh, the Republican safe states. Now, obviously, the Bible built up in the West, as well as the Bible Belt in the South is not going anywhere. Everywhere in Nebraska except the second district, um, the uh, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, Indiana, Missouri, and South Carolina. I believe that we have all the states except Alaska. There we go. Now we're going to move to the shocking but not impossible tier. Now that starts with Oregon. Uh, this state probably won't flip, but I think Trump is going to put enough resources in it where he can uh, have a surprising margin where he only loses it by like seven or eight. Uh, th they said the same thing about Michigan and Michigan flipped last time. Uh, now Oregon is probably a state that is not going to flip, but it is possible if the candidate is super weak that Trump knows that he's got the rust belt under his belt that he can put money and time in investments into Oregon. He could probably flip the state of Oregon. Um, but it's not going to happen more than likely. That's why it's a shocking but not impossible to flip tier uh, as we move down to uh, the state of New Mexico. Now, New Mexico was a swing state as recent of 04 because Bush did a lot better with Hispanic voters than Donald Trump did. I believe he got well over 40% of the Hispanic vote in New Mexico, and it helped him win the state. Now, Donald Trump could improve with Hispanics, but it's not going to be enough to flip New Mexico Um as it stands today. Now, as we look at um, other states, I think Texas as well. Now, you have state now Texas the other way. The math just isn't there. They weren't able to do it in the midterms where uh, a million Trump voters were just missing. Now, it's possible Texas gets under 4%. I'd be shocked if it does, and Texas maybe hypothetically could flip under the right circumstances. I just don't see those circumstances as of right now. Democrats would have to put all their money into Texas, and even if they do, Republicans are probably going to end up winning a state like uh, New Hampshire, and boom, all their efforts are gone because they still lost the election. Uh, now, as we move over to the state of Ohio, this state could flip, uh, but again, it would be very, very shocking to see it flip. Now, it was such a swing state, but again, Trump's rural appeal is the state is still very strong. Uh, the state is moving towards Indiana 2012 status and could potentially start voting more like its neighbor in Indiana. It is a state over 80% white, very rural, and even the suburbs will trend to Trump because uh, there are very blue-collar suburbs. They are not uh, suburbs that are like uh, white-collar where the trade deals necessarily will... Um, help the uh, white-collar suburbs like NAFTA. Uh, now, apparently, the suburbs that in Ohio are blue-collar suburbs around Cleveland that drifted to Trump, and I think that drift will continue, and it's going to be hard for Ohio to flip unless there's a major, major recession, and even then, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Now, as we move um, to the next uh, column here, uh, states that could flip but probably won't flip. Now, I think we could start with Nevada. Trump could win Nevada, approval rating 48% per CNN exit polls in the midterms. Uh, it's possible that he could win this state, but it's not a state that he should be spending most of his time in. Again, it's only six electoral votes. He's not going to flip it. It's possible he can flip it. He'd have to do much better in the suburbs. Now, again, he has a lot of appeal in the rural areas in the state, which, again, could help him, and it could flip, but it's not a pure toss-up. It's a tilt-to-lean blue state. It's probably not going to flip. Now we can move over to Colorado, and you have a similar thing going around on here. Again, was a uh, um, the tipping point state in 2012. 
That's all but gone. Donald Trump would have to make massive gains in the Denver suburbs, as well as the wealthy towns uh, like Aspen, where Democrats did better than usual. And again, he'd have to do better at rural areas too across the state. He legalizes weed, he could he could flip it. Uh, I think then maybe that would help quite a bit, but I don't see it happening necessarily. Uh, I think he should do it. It would get a lot more jobs to Colorado and he could easily flip Colorado, but I, I just don't think Colorado is going to flip. Uh, Nevada has a much better shot at flipping than Colorado, but it wouldn't be impossible or, or really that shocking if Trump does really, really well or gets a really bad candidate and he is able to drum up even further margins in rural areas and make a little bit of gains in the suburbs. I think it's possible that Colorado could stay with the uh, Donald, could go to Donald Trump in that case. But as of right now, not really a real chance of it happening, but more possible than Oregon or Ohio, just based off circumstances. Similar thing with Virginia. Trump could run it up in the rural parts of the state, like the western part that borders West Virginia. If he can keep margins down in the Fairfax County area, it's possible. But the state is just trending left. It could flip. Uh, realistically, it's not going to. Now, same thing with North Carolina. North Carolina will not flip because it, it just it, the again you have the opposite problem. The what would be called the Fairfax area in North Carolina. I guess would be the Research Triangle and Charlotte. Those areas are not big enough to compensate for the rest uh, of the state. There's much more rural population in North Carolina. Uh, it just, th there isn't a candidate right now I can see that will flip it. Again, Biden could make it within a few points, but again, it's probably going to stay with Donald Trump based off of the rural uh, trailer park white turnout in the western part of the state that will help save him from any gains Democrats make in the Research Triangle or the Charlotte area. Um, Georgia can be added to the list as well. Again, Georgia is a state that I see not flipping for multiple reasons. Democrats had a great operation there in 2018. They came close. They couldn't win. Brian Kemp, a bad candidate. Stacey Abrams was a two-faced candidate. She had a, a position for the city and a different one for the suburbs. But again, that could help, especially in a midterm year. I don't think that that hurt her very much. And I think that um, you're going to see in the future Georgia could get closer if Republicans don't get their act together in the suburbs. It's not going to flip this time around. Florida is not going to flip either. Republicans are, are very energized in the state right now. Uh, you see Democrats will make some gains in Orlando area. They'll make some gains in Duval County where Jacksonville is. But Republicans will continue to make gains in the panhandle. They will continue to make gains in Hispanic Cuban communities, especially in the southeastern portion of the state. Trump should do a little bit better in places like Dade and Broward, as well as uh, Hillsborough County and maybe Pinellas. So I think Florida could flip, um, but it's not going to. Uh, the uh, fact of the matter is that it hasn't gone for a non-incumbent except for Reagan's landslide win over Carter in 1980 when it narrowly went to Ronald Reagan. Um, but the fact is right now I don't see Florida having a real shot to go for the Democratic Party a at this moment. I, I mean, especially with the word socialism being thrown around, it's not very good. Conservative Democratic Cubans are going to trend to Donald Trump as well as he will make more gains in the panhandle and that will give Florida to Donald Trump again. So I think it would stay in the could, but probably won't column. Um, in the state of, um, in the state of Iowa, which again went for a greater margin than Ohio, uh, similar thing here, except the fact the state is more elastic. Uh, candidates will ditch, uh, certain can certain parties every four years or so. I don't think it's going to be enough to to make it happen, but it's possible Trump loses in in Iowa after the tariffs. But if he works out a deal with China, he could that could probably move to the green column. We just don't know at this point. Iowa will probably go to Donald Trump. It could flip under the right circumstances, like a recession, um, or if the tariffs do something really harmful to the farmers. I don't think they will. Trump should win Iowa by around the same margin, but I think that Ohio will be decided by a wider margin than Iowa. Um, 
Iowa is a state that Trump and Obama almost won by over 10 points. Trump won it by nine. I think Obama won it by 10 in 08, uh, even though it he won it by like six in 2012. The demographics are just too friendly to Trump at the moment uh, for it to flip. Nebraska's second, similar thing there. Uh, I, I definitely think that Nebraska's second district won't flip. Uh, it will be close. It, it just Republicans will, will do everything they can. It's just one electoral vote. I don't think that Democrats are going to target this as much, especially if they want to go after things like Georgia, Texas, which are just pipe dreams at the moment. Um, now we can move to Minnesota. Now again, Minnesota has a much better chance to flip Republican than I think Virginia or Colorado, but for the sake of tears, it is on this list. I was um, a little contemplating putting it in the could go either way, but Democrats just have such a strong history in this state, and the state loves weirdos. Look at that Democratic primary. Everyone's a weirdo. That one will stay with the Democrats more than likely. Sadly, I think Republicans will be much more uh, competitive in the future, and I think with the right candidate in 2024, they can flip it. And I think Trump has a great shot to win it, but as of right now, for purposes of creating tears, I think it will stay with the Democrats. Um, as we move to the states, um, obviously Maine's second district I think would belong in the green tier. I guess you could call it elastic. Trump won it by over 10. Republicans won it in the midterms uh, before the ranked choice voting. Trump has appealed to some of the voters that voted for Golden as well. So I think that Maine's second district will stay with Donald Trump uh, by a good 10 points. Just based off trends alone, it could grow. Now we move over to the red uh, category. Arizona, which again, I think will stay with Trump when it's all said and done. Uh, look at the gains Democrats are making in Maricopa County. It is very scary at the moment. Uh, it's possible that they win Maricopa at this point. Uh, Trump needs to make some gains in, in the suburbs. I think holding his his late night rally in Phoenix before the election, if that happens, I think that will help him a lot. I think he'll win it when it's all said and done, but it could go either way. Entire Rust Belt could go either way. I think Trump will win it, but it could go either way. Uh, these are states that were decided by under 1%. Now, I think based off of trends and Trump having economic numbers to back up uh, technically what you could call kept promises, I think that will make the Rust Belt be held to Donald Trump's favor. Now, as as I, I really think he will win Wisconsin by more. I think Michigan could go um, to the Democrats, actually, but it, it could really go either way. And Pennsylvania, I think, will stay with Trump as well. Now, main at large should not be understated. This is a... Uh, something that Obama won by 14, that Trump only lost by two. It is a very red trending state. Republicans did not do too bad in the main midterms. I think that that, uh, I think Trump will make uh, some gains in Maine first, even though he won't win it. And I think he could make gains in Maine second. I think he should try to flip the entire state of Maine. It's just two electoral votes, but I think he's got enough, uh, again, a 269, to, assuming he wins Wisconsin, or assuming he wins Pennsylvania but loses Arizona uh, and gets a 269, just winning Maine would put him over the top. So I think it's a very important state to focus on. Now, New Hampshire, the same thing. It, it, it's possible Trump will win New Hampshire when it's all said and done. The uh, Republican Party in the state might be being more favorably viewed due to Sununu. I don't think Sununu is going to give Trump the victory. It's possible that Trump loses this state by over 10 points, and Sununu wins it by over 10, but Trump's not going to lose by over 10. Uh, it's it's going to be a close state again. Donald Trump appeals to this part of the, you know, downtrodden, uh, more right-leaning libertarian type of heroin-filled uh, state of New Hampshire. I, I really think that he has a... I think it could go either way. I think Trump should focus on the Northeast more as Republicans look to make future gains there. Uh, in future elections because you, you look at Rhode Island and Connecticut trending red and it's possible that in the future they could go either way but uh, as of right now we have this map as it is now safe tier 301 shocking but not impossible tier to flip 69 could but probably won't 105 and could go either way 63 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to get me to 7,000, and hit that bell for notifications so you never miss another video. Follow me on social media and donate to the Patreon links in description. And before you go, be sure to click on the screen for another recent video you may have missed. And thanks again for watching, guys. Red Eagle, out.